Do you feel vindicated now? <laughs> yes, I do. Irish mixed martial artist Conor McGregor has been ordered to pay over $250,000 in damages after a woman won a civil court case filed against him, accusing him of sexual assault. A high court of Dublin jury ruled in favor of Nikita Hand, a woman who said the mixed martial artist had, quote, brutally raped and battered her during a 2018 encounter. After the November 22nd decision was made, Nikita told reporters outside the courtroom, to all the victim, victims of sexual assault, I hope my story is a reminder that no matter how afraid you might be, speak up, you have a voice, and keep on fighting for justice. I know this has impacted not only my, my life, my daughters, my family and friends tremendously, and it's, and it's something that will, I'll never forget for the rest of my life. But now that justice has been served, I can now try and move on and look forward to the future with my family and friends and daughter. Nikita, what have the last two weeks been like? What is it like finally to be believed? I have no words, it's unbelievable. I'm thanked so much. Do you feel vindicated now? Yes, I do. Per the Associated Press, McGregor testified that he had never forced Hand to do anything against her will, and during the 2018 situation in question, which took place in the penthouse of a Dublin hotel, he and Hand had, quote, consensual sex. In a statement to TMZ after the verdict, the UFC fighter says, the judge's instruction and the modest award given was for assault. There was not an award for aggravated or exemplary damages. He notes, I am disappointed that the jury did not hear all the evidence that the DPP reviewed. I am with my family, focused on my future. In 2020, the DPP, or the Director of Public Prosecutions in Dublin, told Hand that there was insufficient evidence to prosecute her allegation as a criminal case. E! News has reached out to McGregor's legal team regarding the decision, but has not yet heard back. Per NBC News, the civil court case had begun earlier this month, during which Hand had given emotional testimony detailing the alleged assault. She stated that McGregor had put her in a chokehold several times during their 2018 meeting, and he had told her amid her struggles, now you know how I felt in the octagon where I tapped out three times, referring to a loss he had experienced during the Ultimate Fighting Championship. The hair colorist, who is mom to a daughter, explained that she feared for her life as McGregor had intercourse with her. Hand detailed in her testimony per the Associated Press, He let me go and I remember saying I was sorry. I felt that I did something wrong and I wanted to reassure him that I wouldn't tell anyone so he wouldn't hurt me again. For his part, McGregor said in his own testimony that Hand's statement was a lie and described the intercourse as athletic and vigorous but not rough, adding, she never said no or stopped. This is not the first time McGregor has faced legal trouble pertaining to allegations of sexual assault. In 2023, a woman accused the fighter of assaulting her in the bathroom of a Miami Heat game during the NBA Finals. The state attorney's office of Miami later shared that no criminal charges would be filed pertaining to the allegation, citing insufficient evidence.